Thank you. Thank you.
department of management department of dr diva patil institute of technology pimpri this conference aims to provide a platform for professionals and scholars to exchange ideas and insights on the various themes that are shaping the future of business and technology over the next two days we will delve into the topics such as strategic business leadership digital age innovation and entrepreneurship it governance and cyber security and many more now i have i have the honor of introducing today's evaluator dr sajid alvi sir sir holds a mechanical engineering degree from the college of engineering badnera an mba in marketing from the institute of management career and development pune a phd in marketing from pune university sir's professional journey includes roles as an engineer at skf bearings india and rolling engineering for larsen and dubru in the academia he has taught in the institutions such as jaivant institute of computer applications center for management research and development aissms institute of management and
is uh, related to MOOC that I could find out. Author is Olga Pili and Wilfred Admira. So the topic would be
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Pranika Pathakar, first year MBA student. I feel honored to welcome you all to the two days national conference on Pinnacle Perspectives, Unifying Strategies and Technologies for Tomorrow, organized by Dr. D. Y. Patel Institute of Management and Research in collaboration with the National Institute of Personal Management, Pune Chapter, and the Management Department of Dr. D. Y. Patel Institute of Technology, Pimpri Pune. This conference aims to provide a platform for professionals and scholars to exchange ideas and insights on various themes that are shaping the future of business and technology. Over the next two days, we will, we will delve into topics such as strategic, strategic business leadership, digital age innovation and entrepreneurship, IT governance and cybersecurity, and many more. It is with great honor and admiration that I introduce our esteemed guest, Dr. Sachin Borgavisar. Dr. Borgave sir is a distinguished scholar with a doctorate from Shivaji University and a visionary leader who currently serves as the director of KES Pratibha Institute of Business Management. Prior to this role, sir held the esteemed position of director at Sihagar Institute, where his leadership and dedication left an indelible mark on the institution. Now as the director of KES Pratibha Institute of Business Management, Sir continues to inspire and lead with the same passion and dedication. Under his guidance, the Institute has flourished, becoming a renowned center of excellence in business education. Dr. Borgave Sir's exemplary leadership, both at Sihagar Institute and KES Pratibha Institute of Business Management, serves as a shining example of his unwavering commitment to the pursuit of academic excellence and student success. Dr. Sachin Borgave Sir's blend of industry experience and academic expertise makes him a valuable evaluator for today's discussion. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sachin Borgave Sir with a round, round of claps. I would like to request Megna Billari, ma'am, to virtually felicitate our junior. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us. Thanks yeah. for uh, accepting our invitation. Yeah. The topic is quite, quite, I mean, uh, you have to capture what you have given for national conference. It's really great for unifying strategies and technology for tomorrow. Yeah, it's a need of the hour. And I really congratulate to all the participants who have Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. To me, contact back with me. Hello. Yes. 
share price. Is there any relationship? Is there any relationship would be there? So first coming to the part of an introduction part, the shareholding pattern where it represents the ownership of the company. So ownership means what? Who all there? So ownership may be consideration majorly. There would be promoters would be there. Foreign institutional investors would be there. Domestic institutional investors would be there. And also there would be so many equity investors or we can call it as a share uh, owners. So those are all, or we can, in a simple way, we can call it as a retail investors. So as in my study, I have gone through with that. So in that, we are going to find that. So is there any shareholding pattern can be a reason to their changes or a fluctuations in the share price? So who all this? What are those? So that we are going to understand. Most of the time, so what the investors think, just they will concentrating only on the promoters holding, like owners of the company, only promoters. So on that basis, is that the good way for the investors? No. So where this analysis, if there is a investors who are working or who are studying only on a promoters holding, on their analysis, where it may go wrong, investors selected the stock not only on the basis of a single criteria and other than that so they have to they have to concentrate or they have to work on what are the promoters holding with that fii holding that is what i explained with the foreign institutional investors and also dii so that is domestic domestic institutional investors so in this we are going to uh, do the further study so on this whatever the literature review have done so I have found the sum of the theories where I need, I am going to apply, I have applied in my research work. So through the literature review, I found that there will be theories like an agency theories would be there, stakeholders theories would be there and resource dependency theory would be there. What the agency theory will indicate us? So indicating that agency problem means what are the company's problem would be there? Is that impacting or only shareholding patterns in front? So due to the asymmetric means there is a different opinion should be the asymmetric information among the owners and the managers on that basis on their behavioral changes. Then coming to the part of the stakeholders theory. So management should address needs on a various group of stakeholders, not only concentrating with the retail investors, not only concentrating with the institutional investor. So they have to concentrate with the different interest who are taking then uh, third one i got to know that, that that is resource dependency theory so resource dependency theory which will be the major uh... Turn out mm -hmm. for them and been impacted and you used during the onboarding, definitely there will be a positive employee experience. Say, like for example, openness, open communication during onboarding fosters trust and transparency, enabling new hires to feel comfortable asking questions and sharing concerns. It creates an environment where employees are encouraged to express themselves, leading to smooth integration and a positive initial experience. We all always remember um, the first day of our organization or college or school so the first day must be open and must be focusing on these eight attributes so that it should be a wonderful employee experience open confrontation open discussion and constructive feedback during onboarding fosters accountability growth and empowerment in new hires promoting a culture of growth and participation in the organization trust consistent onboarding support builds trust fostering positive employee experiences Encouraging new hires with responsibilities and autonomy, boost confidence, engagement, and commitment to the organization. So this the duration of the onboarding is very important. So if during this time, if the uh, new joiners have been trusted, they're given the new some responsibilities and autonomy has been bo boosted, then it will give a positive uh, experience. Authenticity. Onboarding should accurately represent the organization values and culture, fostering genuine connections and settling realistic expectations, while also fostering credibility and rapport with the new employees. 
as i said that authenticity is nothing but the walk the talk so whatever has been communicated um during the job advertisement or during the interview or during the, during the joining joining formalities shall be authenticated should be authenticated and it should be accurate one and it should be followed throughout the employee journey in the organization proaction addressing challenges and providing resources during the onboarding demonst uh, demonstrate commitment to the new hire success setting clear goals empowers employees to take ownership of their onboarding journey if there is a proactivity or there is a pro action in the culture the new joiners will it's easy for the new joiner to adopt that culture and surely um, addressing challenges and providing resource during this onboarding so uh, autonomy okay, customizing onboarding experiences for new employees fosters autonomy agency and many, meaningful contributions enhancing their sense of belonging and satisfaction even uh, collaboration during these new uh new time like where the, there's a collaboration between the colleagues mentors and cross functional team it fosters the knowledge sharing it uh, built up the relationship as well as it's ensure that there is a seamless integration into the organization culture comparative evaluation of the Warren Buffett's investment uh, mantras with the same cup you've selected Doha's. Over to you, Mr. Gopal, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I will just share a screen. Just a minute. Uh, my PPT is visible or not? No, sir. Just a minute. Now is it visible? No, sir. Actually, we are unable to see you. Okay. Yes, Just a minute. Okay. It's showing on my screen. So, sorry, sir. We are unable to see. You are using which kind of a device, sir? A PC or a mobile, sir? A uh, mobile. Mobile, sir. You need to share differently, sir. The different window it can be open in the another type type of window uh, as a presentation. So, so you need to share that one window. Okay, okay. Uh, so can you please take another person's? Actually, sir, unfortunately, you are last, sir. Okay, I'm last. Okay, actually, I was the last, but I think nobody is there. Just a minute. Uh, just a minute. Okay, can you see it now? Sorry, sir. Sorry, no. No, not yet. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Just a minute. We are waiting, sir. No problem. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Does it visible now? No, sir. no, sir. Not yet. No, sir. What's happening? Just a minute. Yeah. 
Yes. Not yet. We will wait, sir. We will manage another device or any other. Yeah, yeah. Just give me two minutes. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I'm at the Because actually we are unable to push, uh, we get back to the same meeting at the three PM. Because of the technical issue, we are for the further presentation. So I request to all events and our event to get back in PM. Thank you. Large intermediation. in the agriculture. So now, by Bill Smith of Motorola implemented, and Motorola then won the Malcolm button. Throughout the world has adopted a Six Sigma technology. Excuse me, uh, Your to us. Yes.
भाई आठ सप्लाय है थैंक यू मैम साइड नाउ दस द स्मॉल रिक्वेस्ट फॉर ऑल द पार्टी इज वन ऑफ यू इज डोंट एक्स विद इन द गिवन टाइम आई डोंट नंबर तो यहां पर यहां पर ऑफ द ट्रेंड ऑफ पार्टी एंड मैं नहीं बोल रहा मैम तुम बोलियो जनरल इंस्ट्रक्शन दिस वॉज नॉट दैट As you said that after the product is manufactured, there is there is already also process. But it's are already in place. The product is the cost has already been added to our process. So this it has to be the critical components are uh, in our purchase. So at that point, so this the process. So this cost can be not added to to our whole process and. uh for us na it will uh, and it will like impact our company to be at this this inspection correct same after na for and of any any part of already we need to inspect the chain has already been done on the this and all सोल्यूशन Problem of going is in the solution inspection has to be done at the first go. The answer what it gives is that. Also, do you think there is limitation to human test? And as I think you rightly said that if uh, the use of means if we make use of the right you so the problem wouldn't have of right we wouldn't have another was presented as ai techniques with cyber security mention which are that can be used with use that in the second paper security data science mentioned one that is a detection and they have ranked the security feature the importance and selected the important features which are detection in the third the please turn on it okay sir hello hello oh, yes we are trying to but uh, we are i'm sir okay okay no so din uh, sir yes sir the author different effectively effective 
can be used for the cyber can be applied to the so in this third paper they have particularly work yeah and cyber security risk for the ai technique initially the data was collected and then is analyzed and the thing is done and they have concluded that intelligent agents and the new used for dealing with the attacks in the many types of attacks uh, diff, uh, attacks can be uh, studied with the cyber security and that is focused on the uh, paper adversarial and the defense method are fixed on uh, presented in the cyber security domain it, these are some of the papers that in the fifth paper a survey is performed where they have an intelligent approaches with the cyber security attacks and comparative studies performed and uh, how these attacks yeah and the machine learning and with that the deep learning also so now we all know that the prepared everywhere focus on the deep learning and the ai intelligence for improving the cyber security they have presented try to improve the cyber security they have presented the study of how neural network can like sorry the attacks and they have also mentioned which are the future directions for in the applied ai for cyber security again they have discussed the tip stand in that we used for this attack the data breaches and the different challenges and in a comprehensive survey extensive survey of the work carried out for the using machine learning security attacks and the security attacks are considered and then how machine learning algorithms can be applied to this from this literature review some observations that now cyber security is the need everywhere and all the things by using the digitization we refer internet every day so we have a contact with the security data security data is need everywhere therefore ai and ml how it can be used this attacks that we have presented in the next few slides so now i request my co author namrata madam presentation Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, am I am uh, audible? Okay. So continuing further with it, as we mentioned that uh, we are dealing with artificial machine learning to cope up with the cyber security attacks. Uh, as we all know that the rate at which the cyber is today's need to co detect the attacks and uh, fight against it. following ai tech used for dealing with the cyber attacks so one of them is the smart agents which are used to deal with active for neural network detection and prevent uh things with the expert systems and the intelligent agents for good technique both is that is nothing but the system experts use uh, to detection knowledge base no reference engine etc next slide so coming to the first technique that system so the expert system it basically uh, has to knowledge system and the so as shown in the diagram uh, right uh, the human uh, in, in the knowledge base and is used to cope up with the cyber attacks so okay. the second one that is the neural net which is learning which is uh, we call the branch of ai so this technique is used in the system to identify malicious without human inference and with great speed so the neural nets enable exact detect threats and fill in the threat 
uh, that leave the organizations uh, open to attacks. The third one is the intelligent agents, which are the independent entities movements follow ups on the actuators. So the intelligent agents are shown in those to deal with the DDoS attacks. So in businesses and legal issues, mobile intelligence agents. So, uh, but for this infrastructure, we need support and quality uh, sorry for the so coming part that is learning techniques machine learning algorithms so we use uh, algorithms that is the supervised unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. These techniques are dealing with the cyber, finding out the abnormalities of uh, data. So the first or predict different ways, like it is used to identify. The entrepreneurship focuses on the training, the youth, mainly from underprivileged section of the Opportunity Skill India initiative launched by the government of India. The Modi government in 2000 the employability of the foster culture of the entrepreneurship. The main object in uh, India learn about skill development in India to acquire knowledge about government projects and to encountered by encountered by the government. Evaluating the level of knowledge and understanding idea. And the last is the scope of this uh, study emphasizes the specific areas that will be analyzed. Uh, this study will be analyzed on the analysis of the primary data specifically collected from the individuals age 15 to 30. Then it was created to conduct a Regions in order to gather information for research purposes, in depth consultation with specific scenario to gain insights into their perspectives and through processes. The question using statistical tools such as tables, averages, and graphs, preliminary search perfect and assess their level of awareness. Sources referred research paper, PhD thesis, blog, magazine, government paper. Scope of study in order for India they are to and adapt to the rapid pace of globalization and industrialization. Can you can you run your presentation? I could say only your first slide. Where are the objectives? Yes. Sir, sir, this is my objective. Not visible. Knowledge about green. So I am always okay. Sir. Presentation only first slide I could okay. Sir, is this visible, sir? Yeah. Yes. Object. 
Can I start, sir? Yeah, you. Two of those development in India first. Our knowledge about government obstacles encountered by studies evaluating the level of knowledge, understanding of the skill development idea among for last year. Study in specific areas and subjects and analyze. Next. Research methodology relies on the analysis specifically collected from individuals 15 to 30. Sir, uh, uh, already I finished these two or three slides. Can I repeat this? No, I can see the slide now. Anyway, you continue. I am listening to you. Okay, sir. Research gap. The main is research gap. In the success of skill development, only education is considered. There are so many skills of the India woman. And okay. We can't see. Yes, is this sir. visible? Yes, sir. If the success of skill education is considered, but there are so many other factors to affect the skills of in its impact on to build up the individuals with the help of enrollment academic scale program, but researchers two percent drop out education system in various levels, directly or indirectly. That affects Indian product steps must be taken simultaneously, but all the stakeholders, stakeholders involved, in that is, institution, institution, and corporate employees. And the main point is the researchers consider direct connection production, but there are so many other factors which is not considered in literature review. The other level. Skill India movement not only for unskilled, unemployed, so in higher education are made by policy makers, and these are they executed under different schemes. Government of state government, the study reveals that educational institutions affect the same. The Indian government, higher education institutions, and industry are working well on. And unskilled graduate, uh, post graduates. The main aim of these uh, sources is the skill for development and work to create better job opportunities. Still, as compared with the other countries, India has focused more to skill India, make them employable, and reduce. It. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine. problem was really helps. architecture models available through the public research over here I I use attention is all you need by by various research and 
most common, uh, very famous YouTube video, let's see, but by Andres Karpati, who is a well-known figure in the and machine learning. Now the third problem. Data analytics and business intelligence. It's a review. So let's take an overview of the present. So the contents that we are going to cover is introductory part, then literature, then we'll uh, take an overview of what data analytics is, what business intelligence is, and then we'll focus on data analytics and business intelligence used for risk management in organizations. So after the present, so as we all know that this is an information age, Organizations are collecting loads of data all the time, which is in the form of raw data. So, complex uh, to data. So, there is need to organize the data properly, analyze it. Do it. Business intelligence uh, come into action. Business intelligence and data analytics are used for getting uh, historical data as well as re uh, real-time data. So, and also uh, business help identify and the patterns uh, that are uh, uh, that are uh, in our historical or real-time data. Literature. So, according to that, it is specified that business intelligence and together help in faster and accurate reporting. Few studies stated that business analytics can help in analyzing insights from the real time data. In this age of information, data, it becomes tough to organize data and process it or analyze it. Provide some which uh, the uh, generated output uh, becomes so much understandable from technical audience and also. So, so we'll analytics is data analytics is the science of analyzing raw data to make conclusions about it is. Data collection is a the, the, uh, relevant data is collected from trustworthy sources. We must should be trustworthy, correct, and complete. The uh, input that we going to result uh, into the nature of output. If we provide the correct data, the output that will be correct. This is data reprocessing. Data cleaning is the process of correct, corrupted, duplicate data in a data set. Next step is data modeling. The next step includes interpretation. Interpretation, the most data analytics. That some in, in process. We analyze some trends in the given data and we extract insights. Next step is implementation. Implementation that we have extracted from the and integrate business processes, strategy. Implementing findings can lead to increase in efficiency and organization or a business. Last step and the most important continuous monitoring as the data analytics driven and impactful over the next is business intelligence technologies, processes and organizations use to collect and present data. Key components of business intelligence include 
uh, integration uh, uh, refers that BI involves collecting and integrating data within an organization. Here again, we have to take care that whatever data we are collecting, it must be trustworthy, complete, and size. Data warehousing, next is data warehousing. Data centralized data where integrated data from various sources is stored. So this to quickly access data on a fixed centralized location. Data mining. Mining is a process of a large amount of raw data in order to identify patterns and insight. Step is data visualization. BI tools often incorporate data such as graphs and heat maps to make complex data uh, easily understand the non. The next is predictive analytics. Some advanced BI systems or tools include predictive analytics, cap uh, analytics capability, which use historical data to for future trends and outcomes. Next is performance analytics. So as we are, uh, we are implementing all these techniques, so lastly, we need to analyze and take track of our uh, performance. So BI solutions help uh, organizations monitor and evaluate their performance against predefined goals and objectives. This include tracking KPI, that is key performance indicator, and other metrics to assess how well the organization is meeting its strategic objectives. Now we'll focus on how risk map. Hello, Nikita, ma'am. Am I audible to you? Yes, yes. You Thank you me. so much for the introduction. I am just uh, trying to share my screen. Is my screen visible now? Yes, ma'am. We are able to see. Okay. So, um, So my topic is the influence of uh, online cos cosmetics reviews on consumer decision making in PCMC area Pune. So my name is Nikita Vishwakarma and I am an assistant professor at Dr. D.Y. Patil Arts Commerce and Science College, Pimpri. Uh, so the content of my PPT will be uh, the introduction, research, objectives and methods, factors affecting online shopping, literature review highlights, data analysis, implications and suggestions, and then conclusion and the uh, future research. Let us first come to an introduction part. So what is basically a customer's review? It is the feedback or the insights or ratings, which is given after the usage of the product. Okay, so when we are talking about the introduction, it says that the digital uh, transformation has led to uh, the variety and the convenience through which uh, people are ready to buy on the from the online platform. When we are focusing mainly on the uh, effects of buying um, cosmetics and the role of online review in shaping what people buy. Next, I would like to uh, also uh, go through the navigation choices uh, in the PCMC cosmetic market. First, uh, uh, the main and the important is the customers or the consumer challenge. Uh, as there are lots of cosmetics product uh, on the internet today, so figuring out what to buy uh, becomes a bit uh, of a challenge. Then local dynamics, like what are the behavior or um, the uh, traditions or aesthetics uh, or the usage uh, content of the product matters the most for the local preference of uh, online purchasing of cosmetics. Later on, when we can see here is the impact of um, retail or online shopping has made uh, the cosmetic purchases more relevant and more popular nowadays. Moving on to my research objectives and methodology, 
the um, uh, i my objectives was to explore how pcmc women choose cosmetics online as well as what are the factors that influence their decision uh the age which i preferred uh, which uh, which um, i surveyed was uh, of 18 to 50 uh, years and 57 women were my sample uh, in the pcmc area also my data collection was through online questionnaire uh, and i have used the likert scale for my effective opinion measure here we can see now the three factors affecting online shopping which is uh, the product review under which uh, mainly the influence the trust and the confidence of the um, usage or the after, or after the usage of the product later on many of them see to the price of the product which attracts the shopper seeking the best deal later when we see the brand reputation also matters to build the consumers or customers confidence uh convenience like fast shipping easy returns enhances the experience of the customers and later on the personalization like tailored recommendation influence purchase matters the most while buying or online purchases moving on to the literature review highlights um customer consumer trust online review more than sponsored information decision making involves information search and alternative evaluation like whenever we are buying a product we always see to it that we gather the information first which is relevant uh, for buying the product also we see various alternative products available in the market and then according to the comparison we pick our uh, product according to our preferences and uh, um our um, convenience later on when we see here is source credibility and uh, purchase intention are influenced by online reviews moving on to the data analysis or key findings we can see that most of the people uh, find out that cos cosmetic reviews matter to them um, out of my 58 responses if i see the most of the people say that cosmetic reviews matter 21% that is later on visual insight that is through videos or through images or through collaboration or partnership um uh, giving the visual insight of the product will give you from being dependent on large operations like open event to moving on a self in, to moving on uh, to a self independent system <coughs> like <coughs>
uh, downside in the at the in the tabs there was a share screen option but i'm not able to reflect it it is in green color a uh, room 4 yes room 4 enable hello yes ma'am just a second Uh, I was able to see the share screen option, but I'm not. Could you just guide? If you're joined, then you see at the down where you can see a uh, audio, I mean, start your video, mute, participants, chat, and after that, there is a share screen. Yes. Yeah. In a green color. You can yes. press to that. Yes, yes. Just a second, sir. Madam. Start now. Hello. Yeah. Just a second. Your sir. your presentation is on the laptop. No, I am doing it for on phone. Okay, so it should be open actually. Oh yeah, yeah, just a second. Put na download kele the WhatsApp mein na. Upon us the screen share kele lai direct. Download put What about the same thing? Put as well. Okay. 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 Is the screen visible? Hello? No, ma'am. No. Just a second, please. Just a second. Share put like a good size of the video. The good light on Luna. Uh, can I just request you? Uh, excuse me. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Am I still in the meeting? Yeah. can I just request am I audible Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I do know there is some network problem through the mobile. It's not getting downloaded. Can I just present tomorrow morning if you don't mind? I'm absolutely sorry for the inconvenience cause. You can do one thing. Whatever you know, you can speak up. Speak okay. up. Yeah, yeah, that would be absolutely okay. And I'll then share the PPT, sir. Uh, this is regarding the organizational practices by women entrepreneurs globally navigated. I just start my presentation on these areas uh, uh, we very well understand that today's uh, in today's century how important is it to uh, upbring and upskill the women uh, in different startup areas uh, which uh, you know uh, and the opportunities faced by women entrepreneurs examining organization structures gender biases research accessibilities so with the analyzation of all this uh, points and uh, n number of theoretical backgrounds. I had come up with a global uh, review literatures, national review literatures and district level review literatures which could just say like 
productivity efficiency of women entrepreneurs are upskilling year on year i would like to focus few points on the limitations of this research because uh, as it is based this research paper is based on secondary research and research fo focuses on organizational best investigating the impact of fitness technology on user satisfaction so examination of the broader implications of technological engagement in fitness practice for sustainable health behaviors what will be the expected impact of this study uh, this study will be helpful to foster a deeper understanding of how wearable workout tracker application can effectively support fitness enthusiasts in achieving their goals and maintaining sustainable healthy habits because when when one particular person is uh, joining fitness they have some goals in their mind so this will be definitely helpful for them uh, to track their uh, fitness and maintaining the sustainable healthy habits this study can contribute to the promotion of physical activity uh, the prevention of chronic disease and the enhancement of overall well being so promotion activity uh, pr uh, promotion activities uh, in, uh, we can say from the uh, if uh, fit, uh, the manager of the fitness center they ca that can be promote their fitness centers with the help of using this particular tracking application in their centers uh, the conclusion of the study is to study uh, this study explores the impact of wearable workout tracker application on fitness sustainability wearable technology has fitness engagement and it's driving the pursuit of healthy lifestyle the literature review highlights the rapid growth of fitness app and wearable technology devices social sharing and social competing mechanisms play a crucial role in shaping exercise behavior thank you sir thank you rogita ma'am for your presentation sir if you have any question please ask uh i think uh, you have uh, analyzed uh, some data set in that uh, you have already mentioned over here huh? you have analyzed some data set sorry sir uh, you have analyzed any data set regarding to that enhancing uh, fitness sustainability in your research work have you analyzed any data set no no sir okay okay uh, just tell me that uh, in your view what are the mo most prominent uh, variable that will affect uh, that uh, enhancing the fitness sorry sir just tell me that uh, what will be the prominent uh, variable which will affect the fitness you can in increase the fitness sustainability are you cutting me so i'm not getting you sir actually just uh, you have talk uh, you have talk about the many param uh, many thing that related to enhancing fitness sustainability just tell me about uh, any two or three that will that will be most effective one sir there are uh, different features of uh, track uh, means tracker applications if they utilize it it will definitely affect the sustainability like, like anyone are, uh, like bp monitoring hemoglobin heart beat or ecg monitoring uh so i think uh, just uh, is a only uh, review uh, this is the only review paper yes so i think uh, uh, you have uh, not uh, gone through that uh, after literature uh, review that is a gap analysis anything else no sir okay thank you ma'am thank you so much sir thank you ma'am thank you sir let's move to the next participant raghuram choudhary sir topic is enhancing mobility and accessibility a no novel hand gesture controlled wheelchair system with multi mode operation sir please present your screen turn on your camera and Fine. 
Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. This is Ragram Chaudhary. We have we are having a technical issue with the camera. Can I continue? Yes, sir. You can continue. Uh, okay. This is the project we have created of the enhanced mobility and accessibility of the newer hand gesture control wheelchair. Some of the multi mode operations which we are having abstract. Uh, with the project created a special wheelchair for the physical disability and having who cannot walk or who cannot want to having the physical disability, uh, it can be common comments to the operations. We can simply access it. Uh, for example, like the forward, right, or backward or left or right, we can stop with the access. And we having uh, three different modes to control it. The one of uh, gesture control using the accelerometer. And second, second one is the wheelchair with using a joystick. And a third one is the mobile control with the wheelchair uh, using the telegram board to mod, uh, control it. And also introduction of this, uh, uh, some of the members we having the old old parents are uh, we having uh, physical abilities uh, or we cannot walk uh, on their life. So they having the some of the issues with their lives. Uh, it can be easy to access and uh, they can move easily from one per one place to another place and also it is a budget friendly we having this project uh, with the that of the getting wheelchair can move access with the simple and problem detection the people who cannot walk due to the physical or uh, physical illness injury or any disability some of the issues suffering with the ALS people, so they can manage and uh, access with the simple suffering with the delays just like uh, ALS are necessary with the convenient use of efficiency of the affordable parents. And after that, the existence system, eye tracking system is a solution of the head movement controlling eye tracking system, which tracks the movement of the using driver, uh, driver wheelchair. And of the using gesture, we have a noodling or tightening of the head to control movement of the wheelchair. And of the limitations, we have taken to learn control the wheelchair during head movement and frustration they are having uh, to is to having to control the wheelchair, having head movement technology to the high, which makes the different people to access the uses. We having so difficult to the manage wheelchair, we having some of the practitioners to do it. It's having proposing system, the head and hand movement uh, system is having the previous competition, including the task verify and uh, IMU sensor of the motor control with the use of wheelchair. And IMU sensor with the uses of uh, attached to the head and the head moves when the signal automatically sends to the task verify, it controls the motor of the wheelchair. And we are using the Python code, which we are having the uh, telegram bot to the channels and we this is the flow chart we are having started of the initial acclimator joystick and uh, read panic. When you are having the panic button, it having the danger and also it uh, sends you the message to the viewer having operating this system. And after that, this is the proposition document uh, with supplying acclimator and joystick pan button to the Raspberry Pi of the mobile phone and uh, buzzer motor users can access with the telegram bot and this is the we are using raspberry Pi joystick uh, jump papers and also motor some of the batteries we can use in this project and we having the software and hardware uh, python id uh, software and also hardware we having a raspberry Pi accelerometer l2d admitter and joystick to ldd uh, jumper files so these are all we having uh, this is the final output of our project and uh, having simple project we having uh, around the 25k and we having having any issues with it we can uh, modify it to the lacks of the people so we can save save with their uh, lives and thank you ma'am thank you sir uh, sorry, the last video question yeah, okay uh, Okay, just uh, uh, you have talked about that uh, uh, that uh, 
no no yeah, wheelchair. Hand wheelchair. yeah uh, uh, wheelchair yeah so uh, have you developed this model yeah, and just uh, <laughs> this is only proposed it's only proposed sir okay just working on it you are working on it uh, so yeah. was, uh, um, just uh, wanted to note that uh, uh, you are just talking about like uh, gesture control wheelchair what concept actually you are going to apply i'm just talking about a technical point of view Sir, uh, sir uh, everyone having the issues with the patients, quadruple patients, and uh, who are suffering with the uh, any physical abilities, and they can manage uh, with the heel chair, with the hand or head movement, or we can having no, no, I, with the telephone. Yeah, I, I'm talking about the you are going to develop the systems. So I just I just wanted to know how this gesture control system that you are going to develop, what concept you are you are going to apply over there. I'm talking yeah, about technical point of view, like algorithm and any 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 support system that we are going to develop. Yeah, just we are developing or working on it, sir. That's all. You don't have any further any any idea about it? How uh, that... it's it's having like uh, gloves. We having like a gloves to the hand and also controlling with the uh, joysticks with the help of the Raspberry Pi, and we can manage the uh lot of the wheelchair mm -hmm. so sir, just introduce yourself what currently what are you doing uh i am a phd of the computer science in the kl university BJ1. yeah okay okay i think uh just uh it may be a part of your either first or second semester not yeah it's the second semester sir. so you, you are in second semester yeah okay okay thank you thank you Thank you, sir. Now let's move on to our next participant, Ms. Shivani Ram More. Title is A Study of Impact of UPI Payments on Impulsive Buying and Its Effect on Saving Capacity of Customers. I request Shivani ma'am to please present their screen and turn on your camera. Uh, a very good afternoon to uh, respected Dr. Vinod Kumar, sir, my fellow presenters and all the student coordinators who are there at the conference today. Uh, my, uh, I'm delighted to share with you all my title, uh, my research paper title, uh, Study of Impact of UPI Payments on uh, the consum Impulse Consumers and its impact on the saving capacity. Uh, if I start my, um, if I share my screen, my video will get uh, off because uh, I'm presenting it through my cell phone. So I apologize for the same. No problem. You can So uh, my research paper is titled A Study of Impact of UPI Payments on Impulsive Buying and Its Effect on Saving Capacity of Consumers. Uh, I am Ms. Shivani Nira Mori. I am working as an assistant professor in Dr. D.Y. Patel Arts, Commerce and Science College, Pimpri, under the Faculty of Management. So Your present uh, the presentation study... is not visible. Your presentation is not visible. Uh, okay, sir. Just a minute. I'm really sorry. Is my presentation now visible, sir? No, it no. is not.
Hello, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Can you please give me two minutes so that I will connect it to the system? Uh, hello. Yes, ma'am. Actually, this is taking a bit longer, so I I please request you, or uh, if you can wait for a minute. No problem. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, madam, just to give uh, another candidate to chance, and she will yes, come sir, later. Sure. Hello. Uh, sir, can you please little bit louder? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my mem uh, one of my member will uh, share. Okay, okay. Uh, is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Amaya Nate. Uh, today, we are here for a research paper publication mm -hmm. on a study on the future uh, trends of finance, IT and power sector uh, in stock market using data analytics techniques. Uh, so, we are a student from uh, D.Y. Patil Institute of Technology, Pimp uh, Pimpri. Uh, so, our group members are... Uh, me, Shruti Divekar, uh, Chaitrali Runwal, and uh, this paper is guided under Professor Bowser, sir. So, next slide. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh, so here is the table of content uh, that we are going to uh, cover in our PPT. Uh, so first is introduction, uh, then uh, we move towards the research problem. Uh, research problem is nothing but the problem statement of our uh, paper that uh, then the objective of the research paper. Uh, then we covered research methodology, uh, then the sector name, uh, then the sector name, then the sector names are uh, it will be 
provided detailed explanation for the three sectors uh, by uh, by uh, my teammates. Uh, after that, uh, we have covered the data analytics techniques. Uh, after that, the finding and conclusion. Uh, so next slide. Uh, uh, here is the introduction part. Uh, as our uh, topic indicates about the stock market trends uh, and more. Uh, so talking about stock market trends, uh, they are influenced by various factors uh, such as economic indicators, uh, company performance, uh, geopolitical events, uh, and traders' expectation of a future market movements. Uh, with the help of data science, uh, investor can identify suitable stock uh, for th for the investment. Mm, this provide data driven predictions uh, de uh, derived from historical trades and patterns. Uh, the data is classified through uh, rigorous testing and uh, application of algorithms. Uh, the data analytics analysis is uh, now a, a visual tool uh, for making informed investment choices uh, in the ever uh, evolving world of the stock market. So, uh, next slide. Uh, so, uh, here are the research problem. So, uh, first one is the low risk fund attract the investor in mutual fund schemes uh, as uh, males are more interested in mutual fund investment mm, than the females. The youth uh, and the elderly peoples are less aware about the mutual fund information. Uh, the mutual fund investor considers uh, the liquidity of funds schemes uh, as also as an important factor for an investment uh, in a such. So next slide. Uh, here are the objectives. Uh, the first one is to pro uh, to study investors' uh, perception relating uh, liquidity and investment decision. Uh, to study the financial awareness of a mutual fund investment. Uh, to study the effect of gender difference uh, in investment decision. Uh, to study the effect of age factor on an investment decision uh, in respect of the age and gender. Uh, and the last one is uh, the predict the predict future price prices uh, one can trend analysis which uh, which involves examining examining the past pattern uh, in prices so next slide
so increasing uh, we i have taken these three uh, uh, companies uh, because we believe that uh, these are the pillars of it sector uh, which are uh, leading us to a great future uh, as uh, this it sectors are the uh, it sector that is wipro infosys and hcl uh, having to this uh, share price uh, tcs uh, tcs has 4145 inr wipro had uh, 487 and uh, infosys had 1670 the return on investment of these companies is also increasing uh, by, day by day uh, now uh, we are going to talk about uh, finance sector uh, finance sector is also a blood vein of uh, our economy uh, then uh, we are we have taken uh, two companies uh, as peers of uh, finance sector one is naga density group and second is uh, nippon group naga density group is uh, one investment company which invests in shares uh, and uh, process process the fin finance uh, uh, further nippon is uh, nippon is an assets assets management uh, company uh, the share price of nippon of today is 483 uh, per share uh, as we can see in uh, graphs also uh, nagadanseri is uh, performing very well from uh, last two years uh, their nippon uh, share and return on equity is also increasing and for nippon company uh, nippon company also from the last five years uh, there is gradual growth in their uh, earning per shares and uh, return uh, return on equity. Uh, next, uh, we can uh, we can uh, move forward power sector. Now talking about the power sector, we have taken two companies uh, to identify the future trends in the stock market. First one is the NLC Industries, and the other is BF Utilities Limited. NLC Industries Limited operates in the cement sector and their key products include cement boards, ready mix concrete, doors, and sales of energy. Today's, today's share price of NLC Industries is 251.90 INR. Talking about the BF Utilities Limited operates in the infrastructure sector and their key products include wind power and renewable energy. Uh, and uh, today's share price of the B BF utilities is uh, 738.50 INR. As we can see, as we can see the graph of the NLC industries from the last five years, there is the consistent growth uh, shown by the power sector in the uh, stock market. This is the uh, graph of the BF uh, utilities showing the equity per share and return on equity. So uh, these are the findings. First one is the data is the uh, most valuable asset that helps companies make the best decision about the upcoming business strength and growth. In today's data-driven business marketplace, it is very important to analyze the trends, statistical numbers, and facts before taking any action. You can choose the stock needed to do the investment with the help of data science. These data-driven stock predictions by data science is based on the trends in the past and also based on the several patterns. Stock market prediction using the data analysis technique involves analyzing the historical data, identifying the patterns and making predictions. Research on stock market prediction through data analysis techniques reveals insights into the importance of technical indicators, the influence of macroeconomic factors and the role of sentiment analysis from the various sources. Now concluding, we have created a predictive model for stock market trends using the technical and data analysis. Our aim is to help the investors decide whether to buy, sell, or hold the shares by using data insights. are increased by the 142 percent and also the automatic teller uh, automated teller machine is also installed in the uh, in the ruler area 
as compared to 2013. So we can say that the ATM is installed by the 225% in 2023. So we can say we are spreading the financial inclusion with the banks, opening the new banks and installing the new ATMs. Second thing, uh, in this table, the uses of the debit card and credit card. So the scheme is providing the rupee debit card. So we can say the number of in, uh, the number of the debit card and credit card is also increased. But the as we compare both the data, the number of credit card is also increased. Second thing, the assessment of the reach. Uh, what up to what reach? the inclusion schemes is spreading across the India. So as per the bank branches per thousand kilometer square kilometer, the number of branches is increased. Okay. And the ATM is also increased. So the, the, the scheme is spreading all over the India. Then next is the reach. So we can say the number of the per bank branches per 1000 adult is also increased by 121% and the number of bank ATM is uh, per 1000 adult is also increased by the 193 percentage. One very important aspect under the financial uh, inclusion that is the social security and insurance reach. So uh, without social security, we cannot say the inclusion is completed. So the number of the, that, the, the data is very uh, surprising for me because the number of life insurance policies decreased. So the, by the 50 per 1000 adult, the policies is decreased. 2013 may and now it is decreased by the 59 policy per 1000 adult and the life insurance non-life insurance policies increased so we can say the number is very surprising the the we can say the reach of the non non life insurance policy is up to the mark but we uh, definitely we are missing something in the life insurance uh, next is the identification of the bottleneck so we can say uh, after studying this data you can say the geographical spread of financial inclusion is very much required. So after studying the data with the government officials and the, with the data of the Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, the, some regions some regions and some states are doing very well in the financial inclusion, like Kerala, Maharashtra, Goa, all our regions are very good. But some regions are, are now, they are excluded from the financial inclusion, like Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Jharkhand, all the states are not uh, well included in the schemes. Second thing is the, the requirement of the digital financial literacy. So the first one is the they now the as per the new smartphones, we can easily operate the banking services with our hand. So we can say the, the digitalization of the financial services or the we can say the financial literacy is also increased in the nowadays. Second thing is the project product design and affordability. So we can say the we can design some product with the affordability with the with the low cost so they can uh, so the underprivileged section of the society are easily aware that all the product so sometimes we can say the uh, li like life insurance if you are not purchasing from the government plan the charges are very high so it may be the reason of the uh, financial inclusion for the that product last one is the conclusion so according to the bank global findex database almost half of the adult population is not having an account with the formal financial inclusion so uh, this data uh, this report is very surprising because in our um, half of the generation half of the adult population is not having it is not merged with the fi formal financial institution so it is very difficult to uh, to literate them so after reading this, after reading the financial, after reading this, uh, the statement, we can say uh, the financial literacy is required very much for the for greater inclusion. So that's all from my side, sir. Okay, Professor Shilpa, how we can do this? You said uh, half of the world's adult population have an account with a formal financial literacy. So half of the world's adult do not have. 
right yes yeah, sir then how how we can because this is a uh, a core part of this uh, conference right unification strategies and uh, tomorrow and technologies how you can uh, unify the technologies for the strategies mm -hmm. of tomorrow right so how we can do that uh, sir uh, with the help of the literature review sir no, with the help of no 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 how we can do this how we can bring the half remaining half of the population to with, utilize uh, the financial inclusion yes yeah, sir with providing the financial literacy sir well, how we can provide this financial literacy so we can arrange some sort of camps in the rural area in the slum area so that we can spread the uh, awareness about the product and we can also advertise in the, in the tv and in the newspaper because all they all are literate hmm. but they are not financially literate sir okay fine and when we are in one of the slide you have shown atms and uh, debit cards so the atms and debit cards are quite earlier uh, in earlier stage we have included mm -hmm. right what new things in a debit card uh, our prime minister had did? Yes, sir, actually there is some glitch in the and uh, in the my technology side, so I am not able to listen the whole question. Can you please repeat, sir? The uh, ATMs and debit cards, credit cards, we have shown in one of the slide, right? Yes, sir. It yes, was sir. very very earlier at an earlier stage. You can say twenty five years back, we uh, introduced this ATMs and uh, debit cards and. Uh, credit cards yes sir. what new thing in the debit cards this uh, era what we have done into this debit card can you focus on to that sir we can make uh, the transaction easy like uh, now nowadays uh, we cannot need uh, pin up to the 2000 or 3000 rupees transaction okay, so uh, it is we can say the ease of the technology okay. so if we are promoting these kind of things or innovative things so we can increase the and what uh, about the gateways like uh, earlier visa and nowadays rupee what exactly it is yeah Sir, I have to work on that. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any participant left or shall we... Uh, no, sir, no participants are there. No participants are there, right? Okay, fine. <laughs> it was really uh, nice to see all the presentations. I am really glad to see all these presentations. All participants have uh, uh, given their uh, dedicated presentations and it was very uh, new ideas, uh, new things and how we can uh, uh, develop in future. Either it's a technologies or either it's a new strategies. So really a nice presentations. And I'm very much thankful to all the audience also. So those who have listened uh, calmly, quietly, and these insights, really nice insights we have received from these presenters, right? Since it's a unifying strategies and uh, tomorrow, technologies tomorrow, see a lot of technologies are emerging and how to deal with these technologies, how to plan our business, the new businesses are emerging through these technologies and the new strategies we need to develop at every instance right and that we should be always on to the toes and it's a really great thing that such a topic has been there today for this conference i really congratulate to these all uh either the participants as well as these organizers and thanks for uh uh getting me into your this uh, conference environment today thank you so much on behalf of Dr. D.Y. Patel Institute of Management and Research, we would like to express thanks to our distinguished participant authors for sharing their expertise and insights with us. Your contributions have added immense value to our discussions. A special thanks to our esteemed evaluator, Dr. Sachin Burgave, sir, for your expertise. Also thanks to dignitaries, Director Dr. Mekna Billare, ma'am, Associate Director Dr. Vishal Vadaskar, sir, MBA HOD Dr. Jini Saxena, ma'am, 
Thank you once again to everyone involved. We look forward to future collaborations and continued success. So on behalf of DYPIMR, I am Ms. Pranita Pasarkar. It's signing off. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Shall I leave this conference now? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. use of AI and machine learning in cybersecurity. That was a good paper. And, def and another paper that uh, I have seen uh, that, uh, yes, uh, related to, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, this one is, uh, yes, yeah, that is uh, enhancing mobility and accessibility that concerned with the gesture control wheelchair system. That was Technical paper, but uh, candidate has uh, started research work at the only first or second level. So, you know, depth, uh, depth of paper that was uh, missing, but it was a uh, uh, right beginning to start with the data for latest uh, research paper. With that, uh, once you are going to start with a particular topic, you should think that how that uh, research is going to impact your for the societal benefit. So in that way, actually, you should start your search. Oh, that's all from my side. Thank, thank you, you so much for sharing your valuable insights. And thank you to all the participants who have blessed us with their presence. And a special thanks to Dr. Vinod Kumar, sir, for giving us his precious time. Thank you. Thank you. All the participants will receive their certificates on their respective mail IDs. Thank you. Thank you. All of you can leave the meeting.
without any further delay, I would like to invite Dr. Bharat Prasad sir uh, to share his history. A very good evening to everyone. So, if I'm at friends, other teachers, and the student participants. Actually, the response should have been more from the participant side because the students have an opportunity to get more information which normally doesn't cover in your syllabus. Right? Many of the things, a few of the papers you might have seen have been really put in very well. Okay. Of course, as the jury, we have to ask questions and we have to find the faults. But at least you come to know what quality is and you can also have a comparison between the presenters also right you will be you are the budget managers you will be working in the corporate so obviously uh, the communication the presentation the content the confidence all these you can judge over here and then you can find out your lacunas and overcome that is my general uh, opinion, uh, specific related to the paper presentations. So whatever has been put in, you are in a conference, you are saying it's a research paper or a research article, then the norms of the research has to be found. <coughs> right? And when you are talking of a research paper, if you are talking typically about only literature review, then it has to be covering everything with a final conclusion. Right? Because what I feel is for every communication, three things are very important. One is the opening, second is the heart, that is the central content, and finally the conclusion. Any communication without conclusion is of no use. It is like making a sale call without the sale happening. Right? So in the few of the papers you might have observed that finally the audience will read out what really the presenter wants to say. Right? Or there is a dilemma in the audience itself. So how I should be interpreting it? And in one of the cases we have seen also that they have put in that now you have to interpret. You have to decide. You have to find out what real cause is. Right? This is not a classroom session where a teacher is trying to inquisit inquis or inquire the students or try to increase the horizon of thinking. Right? Here it is the responsibility of the presenter to put in what he has done. Then comes the research part. So, Again, those of you who are, have already done, you are in second year, you have done summer internship projects, right? You will see there is a proper sequence, right? Right from what is introduction, then what is the research problem, what is the research gap that has come from the literature review, then what is the research design you have adopted, what are the objectives, what are the hypotheses, then how the data has been collected, how the, it has been analyzed with various statistical tools, right? And finally, again, the closing part. So what is the conclusion? And every research paper requires original contribution of that researcher. Without that, the paper is of time. Right? So these are the basic things that every person should remember. Now, this all this research principles also apply in our career life also or in our family life also. What is my contribution to my family? That is important. 
what is my contribution to my organization right i am not just being creating it copy paste now this is the trend isn't it go to chat gpt whatever you want put in the title or what is required you get something copy paste right that should not be there just for example i would like to tell you yesterday only i was doing some translation work right from marathi to english and there was one sentence okay sauthya madhla ta slab arda takla okay arda slab takla takla means what i hope everyone knows marathi ha ye arda slab ho gaya hai right and i had put it in a app for translation and it said the half slab of the fourth floor has collapsed <laughs> right and the same thing happens with the today's generation unko lagta hai google matlab sab kuch hai usme dal diya usne jo diya copy paste not to read at all right same thing happens in the organizations also hmm? what you do kaam bataya hai na get the previous work copy paste in the name of the company name of the uh, what you can say the product and go with it so this should not happen see you have to apply your own brains whether it is your personal life corporate life or whatever you are doing right and research helps you in scientific decision making please remember Okay, we take decisions every day, every moment. But whether those decisions are right or wrong, it depends on how you are taking it. And management and research really makes us learn to take rational decisions with a scientific base. Right. So please learn these things from these two days. I think tomorrow also we have sessions. Try to attend. Try to encourage your friends to also attend. Hmm? <coughs> और यहाँ पे सुनने के बाद उनको मत. Can you go back, discuss with your friends. ये ऊपर कैसा था, ये क्या था, इसमें क्या learning हुआ है, इसका कैसा खराब था. Hmm? Can learn from the bad things also. ठीक है. नहीं तो यहीं पे सुना, यहीं पे भूल गए. That is not going to help. Fine. So I hope we will have the hall full tomorrow again. Hmm? And wish you all the best. Thank you. And before leaving, I thank Meghna Madam and the organizers for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be a part of this conference. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As we are con concluding today's presentation, we all got a great insight of various research topics presented here. I, on behalf of Dr. D. Y. Patel Institute of Management and Research, thank you all for presenting your research paper. And I also like to thank Dr. D. Y. Patel Man Institute of Management and Research for organizing this two days national conference on financial perspective, unifying strategies and technologies for the world. I would like to thank our esteemed jury, Dr. Bharat Pasar sir and Dr. Uh, Kiran Kale sir, who is HOD and BA DIT for being with us in this wonderful conference. Have a great evening to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am a gentleman.